sunrise on the red planet. These are the first pictures sent back to Earth by the Curiosity Mars rover after a successful landing. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. Scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory near Los Angeles erupted in cheers and jubilation when it became clear that Curiosity had survived a complex and risky landing. The $2.5 billion spacecraft came hurtling into the Martian atmosphere at immense speed. It deployed a parachute, slowing it down. Then, just above the surface, a rocket-equipped sky crane lowered the car-sized rover gently down, and it stuck its landing like an Olympic gold medal gymnast. Curiosity is bristling with cameras, lasers, and onboard chemistry labs. Its mission is nothing short of historic to see if the conditions necessary for life existed on Mars and might even exist today. It's looking for organic molecules and it's landed in a place where it can climb up a hill basically and you can see the different layers that it's going to look at just like the pages of a book and it's going to read them as it goes up and kind of reconstruct the two billion year history by making all of these measurements in terms of habitability. Thousands of people attended watch parties from New York's Times Square to Los Angeles's Griffith Observatory, eager to see space history in the making. Incalculable amounts of science is going to come out of this and immeasurable amounts of knowledge. It's just that I want to know like what's like out there, basically. Like I want to see what's beyond there, because out of this earth, like out of here, out of Earth. Because like I've all, like you look up at the night sky and you see that you stuff around it. You just, like, I just wonder what's up. The rover will spend the next two years on Mars beaming back data to scientists on Earth. So after its long journey through space, Curiosity, one of the most technologically advanced machines ever created by humanity, is seeking to answer one of the simplest and oldest questions of all. Are we alone? Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.